What up everybody, Chris here, and today I want to tell you an old Indian story that I heard recently and I thought was pretty cool. There's this guy who's on a long journey and he's walking down the road and at some point he realizes that ahead on the road there's going to be a fork. The, the road splits into two directions and he realizes that he's not sure which way he has to go. He doesn't know if he has to go left or he has to go right. And the more he walks, the more he starts to worry he realizes that this is an extremely important decision in front of him which way he has to go on the road but he just doesn't know which way to go so he starts really worrying and he prays to God he said God I just don't know which way to go please tell me which way am I supposed to go in this fork on the road ahead and he keeps frantically worrying and praying to God, please show me which way I have to go. And finally, after all this frantic prayer and worrying, God finally answers him and he says, don't worry about it, you'll figure it out. Well, perhaps not surprisingly, the guy is not particularly happy with this answer. This is not what he was looking for. But he continues along the road, and eventually, finally, he gets to the fork in the road. He gets there very late because he's been wasting so much time in worrying about this decision that he's going to have to make in the future. But eventually, he finally gets to the fork in the road, and there is a big sign right beside the fork in the road that says, Go that way. <laughs> Now I heard this story just recently and it really hit home for me because if you're really trying to do something in life, if you're trying to do something big, if you're trying to do something that's off the beaten path so to speak, you're going to run into this situation a lot. You're going to have a lot of uncertainty and you're going to have to figure out how to deal with it. Your ability to handle uncertainty determines what you do with your life. The normal path of mediocrity that most people follow doesn't really require much uncertainty. If you come from a middle class background like I do, you know well that the what is expected of you is a very straightforward process right you study you get good grades you get accepted into college you graduate in four years with a bachelor's degree maybe you go back to school for a master's degree or a PhD and then you get a nice reliable job and then you work at that reliable job for the rest of your life and maybe switch jobs a couple times and maybe get promoted if you're lucky that's the typical middle-class life plan and it's all laid out for you it's like everybody does everything for you that your grade school is provided for you your college program is all programmed for you the job is available for for you it's just everything you're just kind of going along this track like a train going along a train track there's no uncertainty there's no risk you just follow the track that's all you just follow the track but if you want more if you want to accomplish something if you believe that you were put on this earth for a purpose or if you dream of something bigger than pushing papers in a corporate office for most of your life then you are going to have to go off the beaten path and you're going to have to face uncertainty. For a lot of people, uncertainty is extremely difficult to deal with. That's why a lot of people never try. And even if they do try, they give up really quickly. For most people, uncertainty causes a lot of stress and a lot of worry. And it completely sabotages the mental resources that they need to succeed. Like in the story, the guy on the road was worrying and he was delaying his getting to his destination because he was expending so much mental energy with worrying. You have to be able to handle this level of uncertainty certainty without destroying your mental health which by the way will also destroy your physical health if you're stressed all the time not only will you be miserable but you will be absolutely destroying your your body's immune system and of course if you destroy your health you're just adding to your stress and you're adding to your problems and you're only going to burn yourself out so you must it is absolutely imperative that you must learn to deal with uncertainty Okay, now that you understand why dealing with uncertainty is such a big deal, let me show you how you can do it. There are three things that I have found to be most important in helping you deal with uncertainty. And those things are number one, faith. Number two, passion. And number three, understanding the big picture of what you're actually doing. 
Let me illustrate what I mean by understanding the big picture. Now, this is you, the little stick figure guy, that's you at the beginning of your journey. And it could be right after you graduate high school, or it could be when you're 25 and had a quarter life crisis, it could be when you're 50, it could be when you're 70, you know? This could happen at any point in your life. Actually, really, this is a choice that you have at all points in your life, because at any given time, you have the opportunity to be mediocre and follow the beaten path, or you have the ability to try your luck at doing something different. As you can see, the path to mediocrity is easy. All you do is you walk straight ahead, you don't drop out of college, you don't get addicted to crack, and then congratulations, you have achieved the middle class dream. You have become mediocre. And by the way, when I say it's easy, I'm not talking about physically easy. I'm not saying it doesn't require work. I'm just saying it's laid out in front of you. You don't really have to think about what you're doing. You don't have to deal with uncertainty. You don't have to deal with risk. It's mentally easy. It's kind of counterintuitive because oftentimes the jobs that require the most work are actually the easiest in terms of dealing with risk and dealing with uncertainty. Okay, now let's take a look at the other path, the path to greatness. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, let me know by hitting the thumbs up icon and also hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you get all my future content first. Also, feel free to share this video if you want to do some good for your friends or your family or some other people that you care about. Actually, these sorts of new mindsets and new habits are a lot easier to implement and a lot easier to stick to if other people that you know are doing the same thing because it means that you can hold yourselves accountable. The path to greatness, as you can see, is quite a bit more complicated than the path to mediocrity. And not only is it more complicated, but also you have to navigate this maze in the dark. You don't have the bird's eye view like we have here. You are in it, right? You are looking at the front of the maze. It's dark. You can't see anything. You can walk forward until you feel a wall, right? That's how it works. You walk forward until you feel a wall. And then most people, when they walk forward, they feel a wall. Then they turn around back. They say, oh, the path to greatness doesn't work. There's a wall in the way. I'm going to come back and I'm going to go down the path of mediocrity because I know that that works. That's why most people give up so easily if they try to do something that is off the beaten path. Something that will get them better results than the average mediocre lifestyle that everyone else is trying to push on them. So what do you do if you want to be successful? Well, you go forward and then you hit a wall. That's to be expected. What do you do when you hit a wall? Do you push on the wall and keep pushing and pushing and pushing and hope that the wall just goes away? No, that doesn't work very well. You hit the wall, you recognize you can't go that way, so you turn a little bit. You start feeling along the wall to the right, and then maybe you hit another wall when you, when you hit the, the end of the maze, and then so you say, okay, that doesn't work, and then you start feeling along the wall to the left until eventually you feel a corner and you say, ah, now I can go forward. And then you go forward, and then what happens? You hit another wall. Then what do you do? Do you say, oh, I hit a wall, it can't be done, I'm gonna go back. Well, you could, but that's just gonna lead you back to the path of mediocrity. But no, if you wanna be successful, you do the same thing you did before. You start feeling the wall until you find the place where it gives you, until you find the corner, and then you go forward. If you wanna do something big, it helps a lot to recognize in advance that you are going to hit walls and you are going to have to adapt. You are going to have to feel in the dark. You're gonna to have to try things. You're gonna to have to fail over and over again. You're gonna to have to use trial and error to figure out the things that will move you forward. And if you keep doing that and you keep failing and you keep trying new things and you keep figuring out little by little the way forward eventually you will succeed you will get to the end of the maze and you will get to your goal whatever that may be you can see how much easier this is if you understand the big picture in advance because if you go into this not knowing the way it works you just walk into the dark you hit a wall maybe you bang on the wall you try to beat the wall down because you've been told all your life that the key to success is hard work right and then eventually you burn yourself out, the wall doesn't fall down, and you dejectedly walk back to the path of mediocrity and say, I tried, but it didn't work.
How much more likely are you to succeed if you have been told in advance that you are walking into a maze in the dark and you are going to hit a lot of walls and you're going to have to adapt? How much more likely are you to succeed if you know that in advance? Now the next thing you need to have in order to cope with uncertainty is faith. Now I know at this point in the video there are going to be a few people who are going to say, oh, well, faith is stupid. I don't believe in silly superstitions and fairy tales and some bearded guy in the sky. I'm totally rational. And if that's you, before you turn off the video, I would implore you to think about whether that mindset is really serving you, whether it really makes sense or it's just holding you down. You need faith to be able to succeed. You need to have faith that there is a way through the maze, right? If you believe that it's just a solid wall between you and achieving greatness, or you don't even know if there's a way through the maze, then how much effort are you going to put into it? This is an enormous advantage that you have if you believe that you were created for a purpose, because if you were created for a purpose, then there has to be a way through the maze. You have faith that there is a way through the maze, and if there is a way through the maze, then you are much more likely to find it if you believe that there is than if you doubt, or even worse, if you believe that there is not. If you don't believe that there's any purpose in life, then there's no reason to believe that there is any way through the maze. Now, by the same token, you also have to believe that you are capable of finding the way through the maze. If you have faith, then you believe that you were created for this particular purpose and for that reason, you were given all of the intrinsic strengths and abilities that you need in order to be able to be successful. Are you going to put in the effort necessary to be successful if you don't really believe that you have it in you to do what needs to be done? Probably not. Maze is in the dark. You don't have proof that there's any way through. You will never get proof that there's any way through until you get all the way through successfully. So if you don't have that faith in advance, you are going to have an extremely difficult time. That's why I explained in this video all about how spirituality is absolutely crucial to your success. It will make or break you because you need to have that faith. Now the final thing that you need is passion. Another uncomfortable truth for those of us who like to believe that we're rational all the time is that we make all of our decisions based on emotion. And if you want to be successful, you have to recognize that. If you are going to face uncertainty, you have to recognize that there is going to be negative emotion involved. You are going to have fear, you are going to have doubt, you are going to be afraid to face criticism. It's going to hurt your pride. There's a lot of negative emotion that you're going to have to be willing to face. In order to be willing to face that, in order to put up with the difficulties that are involved in doing just about anything that's out of the ordinary, you are going to have to have enough positive emotion to outweigh the negative emotion. You are going to have to have so much passion for whatever it is that you seek that it makes it worth going through all the pain and all the doubt and all the hardship that is going to be coming your way if you voluntarily take on this level of uncertainty. Basically, you need to care enough for the thing you seek to make it worth the effort of attaining it. And a lot of people have passion, but it's momentary. They can't sustain it. In order to handle the uncertainty, it's a long road. You have to recognize that. And even if it's not a long road, I mean, even if it's only a few months, right? It still, it feels like a very long road. And you have to be able to sustain that passion for the entirety of the time that it takes to go from where you are now to becoming successful. And most of the time, there will be a long stretch at the beginning where not only are you not achieving the result you seek, but also you're not seeing any results at all. It seems like you're going nowhere. I mean, if you're trying to sell something, if you're doing digital marketing, for example, as I explained in this video, you have to go through this period of time where you're not getting any results. You are working and working and working and getting zero sales. You need the passion to be able to get through that difficult and discouraging period at the beginning. Now, the best way that I've found to have passion and have sustained passion is to do regular visualizations. First, you have to do the foundation work, which I described in my video on spirituality. You have to figure out what you actually want in life. 
And it could be stuff that you want for yourself. Maybe you want a beautiful penthouse, maybe you want a fancy car, maybe you want to take amazing vacations, or it may be something more closely related to your higher purpose. It may be about helping certain people or helping a certain cause or helping a certain charity, right? It's what you can visualize yourself as having or as having accomplished in your mind and feel excited and feel happy and feel grateful and feel blessed. And the stronger the emotion, the better. So to visualize, what you do is you set a regular calendar. Do this at least once a day. I recommend multiple times a day. Just imagine yourself already having the thing that you want and feel the emotion as intensely as you can that you would feel upon having that thing. So if it's driving the Lamborghini that you always wanted, for example, imagine yourself driving the Lamborghini along the beach and, and hitting the accelerator and feeling the wind in your hair and feeling the excitement and the gratitude for being able to have this experience and make it as close to the actual goal as you can. So don't imagine yourself looking at numbers on your bank statement, right? Because money itself doesn't do anything, right? You can't eat money, you can't build a house out of money, you can't drive money. Money is just a medium of exchange. So imagine the thing that really will make you happy. And, and maybe for you it is just the accomplishment, the feeling of accomplishment of having having become a millionaire, for example. So that's fine if that's the way it works for you. But if you're interested in experiences, for example, the experience of driving your Lamborghini with the top down, feeling the wind in your hair and looking out at the beach, right? That's much more compelling than looking at numbers on a bank statement. So make the most compelling image that you possibly can in your mind and repeat that image and let yourself really enjoy it. Imagine that it's actually true. Feel the feelings of what your life looks like when you've accomplished this goal. If you do this regularly, this will sustain your passion and it will drive you through the difficulty that you need to get to your ultimate goal. And you can experiment with what kind of visualizations work best for you because probably that you have more than one goal in life. You have more than one thing that you want to accomplish. And probably you have some things that you want to do for yourself, like get a fancy car, right? And then you have things that you want to do for other people and to, to make an impact on the world. So use both. Figure out which one is more powerful. Figure out which one gives you the stronger uh, positive emotions and which one sustains your passion throughout the day and stick with the ones that give you the most powerful emotional response. And as always, I want to hear from you guys. So write in the comments, how do you deal with uncertainty? How have you dealt with uncertainty in the past? And you know, maybe you did a terrible job of dealing with uncertainty. Maybe you just gave up and ran away. That's fine, you know? is If you admit it, that's the first step to getting better. Or maybe you have another trick for dealing with uncertainty that isn't something that I want over here. Let me know in the comments. I'm always open to learn and you guys have some great ideas so write in the comments below. Now if you haven't already go ahead and check out this video all about how spirituality is crucially important if you want to be successful in something that requires going off the beaten path.